Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain Cataract B Intracapsular Tissue Hydro Maneuvers Level 1. So in this particular level, you're switching gears from creating capsulorexis in order to practice hydrodissection and hydrodelineation. So first, I'd actually like to perform hydrodelineation. The simulator grades you on whether you've hydrodelineated appropriately and whether you can move the nucleus in the appropriate manner. So that's demonstrated if you look very carefully at the yellow golden ring and then the the lens inside the yellow golden ring to actually be able to be highlighted. Then there's hydrodissection and then you should be able to spin the cortex. So let's take a look at that one more time. So this time I'm actually going to start with hydrodissection and so you can spin the cortex afterward and then that's a good hydrodissection. So then next I'm going to hydrodelineate and you have to hydrodelineate enough otherwise the machine won't give you enough points. So notice how I'm moving it around. The machine actually wants you to move it around to test and see if you've been able to delineate and dissect appropriately. So when I'm moving around you can tell that there's a little bit of space like a gap in between the golden ring and the nucleus. So that I scored 95 and 100 respectively. Let's take a look at some things that you shouldn't do in this particular exercise. So here I've entered, I've hydrodelineated, but I'm putting a lot of pressure. So I'm injecting at a very fast rate. So eventually I'm able, you can see that the iris is starting to prolapse a little bit and things are starting to come forward a little bit as well. And if you're injecting too much without control, what will happen is something pretty spectacular but pretty bad. And you'd see it there, the zonular attachments have uh, completely broken off. So please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.